Hey guys, it's Jenna of Hopeless Dreamers 12, and today we are going to do the song tag, part one. There is two parts to this. It's a long tag, but all right, let's get started. So question one is a song you like with a color in the title. I'm choosing Girls Not Grey by AFI because that is a special song that me and my friend really like, and I'm actually going to go see that friend on Saturday, so it's going to be really nice to because I haven't seen her in a while. And we'll probably talk about the song, which would be great. Okay, the next part in the song tag is a song you like with a number in the title. Uh, Mine is A Thousand Oceans by Tokyo Hotel. That is a really beautiful song. You, like, listen to it in either German or English. Bill Callitz's voice is just... <sighs> and okay, so number three in the song tag is a song that reminds you of summer, and mine is These Pools Were Made For Hopping by Patent Pending, which was literally off a, like, summer compilation album with a bunch of various artists. And that was the one song that I uh, bought. I need to get the uh, some of the other ones, but it's a really good song. It's about hopping pools and missing your like girlfriend or friend who moves all the way across the state. And it's a good summer tune. Number four is a song that reminds you of someone you'd rather forget. And mine, my song for that would be "Gone Forever" by Three Days Grace. Ah oh man, that's a really good song, and it it's about like feeling good that someone's gone. But, like, it still kind of sucks when you, like, have, think about them because it just happens and it's really relatable. It makes me feel better. Okay, number five is a song that should be played aloud. And this is the end for you, my friend, by Anti-Flag. It's definitely one that needs to be played loud. It's a great song, great band, great music video. It's just go look it up. And number six is a song that makes you want to dance. Mine is Shut Me Up by Mindless Self-Indulgence because I like my coffee black just like my metal. <laughs> and number seven is a song to drive to, and that would definitely be Dragula by Rob Zombie because the, literally, like, the music video is him in this crazy car driving and it's just like, the beat is perfect for driving, especially when you're going down, like, a highway or an interstate or whatever, and you can go fast. It's just great. Eight is a song about drugs or alcohol. Mine is We Are All On Drugs by Weezer. That is such a great song. It is so fun, and it's totally true because no one really cares when you're on drugs. <laughs> okay, and nine, a song that makes you happy. Waitlist by All Time Low, because this is an All Time Low so, obviously, All Time Low is going to be on the list somewhere. <laughs> but it's such a great song. It makes me feel better because, like, there, like, no matter what, I always feel like it's not my weekend, but it'll be my year. So, yeah. And, uh, let's see, number 10 is a song that makes you sad, and that is I Don't Love You by My Chemical Romance. The music video is just so bleak. And the song is just so hauntingly sad and so beautiful, and Gerard Way is just amazing. I really wish my chemical romance was back together. Moving on. Number 11 is a song you never get tired of, and for me, that is The Curse of Curves by Cute Is What We Aim For. Oh man, I saw them last year at Warp Tour. They kill it. They still got it. And this song is so great live. If you ever get the chance, you should definitely go see it. Oh, stupid. Um, number 12 is a song from your preteen years, and that would be Shut Up by Simple Plan. That was one of my favorite songs growing up, and when Simple Plan was one of my favorite bands, I was so in love with David, it was crazy. And that, it just, it got me in, it made me think I was a punk or something, because that's how 11, 12 year old me felt. <laughs> Ooh. 13 is a song you want played at your wedding. Now, I would like Hey Thanks by The Wonder Years. It, honestly, the lyrics kind of remind me of how me and my boyfriend are. And, it, I don't know, if I got married to him, that would be a nice song to have at my wedding. And, I don't know, it's a great song. Wonder Years are great. Okay, so 14, which is the last of the tag, is a song that is covered by another artist. 
and that would be Milkshake by Goodnight Nurse. It is a cover of Milkshake, and it is just a great cover. I feel like not enough people really know about that cover. Uh, I found out about it through, like, a a Sims music video dance-off thing. It was really weird. If I find it, I'm going to link it in the, in the description below, so yeah. Okay, so that's it for me. I will see you guys next week, and remember, you can always follow me personally, subscribe to Hopeless Dreamers, and also, if you want, you can check out my concert footage for the worst tour ever. I'll put the link right here where my finger's pointing. And I hope you guys watch it, hope you guys like it. Please support my friends, Paula's Villains, and their tour mates, Barry December, and the local bands that played there too. They're really great. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.